here we go hey everybody what's going on rob sister you know back for another week of hit or quit this week farmer wants a wife episode number four and uh, jenny autumn is here jenny how are you hello rob i am i'm wonderful you know this are episode you? i am i am i actually am uh farmer wants a wife episode four was nuts was nuts was nuts. oh wait no sorry i actually just misread my notes it had nuts and it had it, nuts it, it holy wasn't fudge yeah. yes <laughs> there were nuts <laughs> um yes jenny I, i'm coming in hot today oh yeah because <laughs> i i'm i'm over it i'm over it i'm ready to quit <laughs> farmer wants a wife i really am Mom, you were so i really i know <laughs> I, I i was like okay we're trending in the right direction and we completely backslid I feel like one of these women, like Nicole, not like the my wife, but <laughs> you were, uh, you know, hey uh, guys, we're taking it really slow here. Can we can we move a little faster here? And Jenny, I gotta be honest. Maybe you can talk me off the ledge. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. I'm ready to quit. Farmer wants a wife. They, they literally like on the topic of testicles. It's like they gave you podcast blue balls. Blue balls, right? <laughs> they got you so you you were full of hope last week, Rob. Like I was almost yeah. taken aback by like how optimistic you were on the show last week. So this is like this is I quite the swerve. I'm done, but I get uh, it. I'm I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Talk me back in, Jenny. What are you? Okay, okay. Well, here's the thing. The, and we should we should at least discuss the format of this show because of this show or farmer wants wife farmer wants wife sorry um <laughs> we, we we've only just set the format of this podcast so <laughs> I, I hope we're not changing it just yet i'm um, ready i'm ready no i'm gonna change it on you be like you can't get out beefy we're in no it now. <laughs> no come on come on i'm ready to divorce like farmer no. allen you are you are locked in you're you're stuck on this farm whether you want it or not there's no black oh. car to pick you up don't, <laughs> you're don't, here yeah okay so jenny are you gonna but, talk me back in okay so so the issue with the format of the show and maybe it's not an issue but i feel like it is an issue is like you have the episodes now i'm, I'm starting to understand what's going on you have the episodes where they're at the farm uh, they're at the individual farms and the women and the, their respective farmer are separated at like their own farms. And then you have the next episode where they have their little like weekend outing where like, like we had last week with the, um, the rodeo, um, mm -hmm. where you get the intermingling. Um, and I think that is where we're bound to get more action in terms of like drama and like you know people sharing information and people getting upset but like the the farm episodes how many times can i see it's people crumbs <laughs> it is crumbs it is crumbs and it, i feel bad saying this because i think that all of these people are are real and very nice like people none of them yeah none of them it are would bad be people. better if they weren't Exactly. It is an earnest reality show about finding love in the heartland. And th that is that is precisely it. I mean, I find little pieces of joy and like humor. Um, but I like I feel like I've I've become conditioned to try to yeah. find joy when you know there are crumbs like you said we need to stand up jenny <laughs> we've been through too many of these bad reality shows mm -hmm. and this is a bad show and i think we need to come to terms with it and the whole idea of hit or quit is that when we got to get out when we got to see these this is red flags all over the place yep. here red flags. this is bad it's yep. getting worse and we need <laughs> to get out yeah no, I and we'll tell I, you why, because I know a lot of people don't, don't even watch the show. They just are here for the podcast. But I guess bless those people. Thank yeah, you. I'll tell you all the reasons why I'm frustrated. Okay. You know, some people so save all gonna... their frustration for Big Brother Canada. I'm just so frustrated <laughs> that the that nothing is happening on Farmer yes. Wants a Wife. This is the thing, is like I am lucky that we have found 
um a mechanism yes that essentially like forces you to podcast with me every week because like you would not be choosing to podcast a dating reality show like this subdued without this um mm -hmm. function that we've built here because like there are so many and we have so many incredible podcasters on the network on like the wrap ups covering some of the no the crazier and like more dramatic um reality like dating type shows that exist so when you get one like this that is on like regular network tv where it's on fox uh it's uh it's I would I just wish it was hitting a little harder, you know? And yeah. I get that for you cuz I think that you would not be choosing to to talk about like a a, a love show unless it was like at least a little messy, right? And the only yeah. mess that has occurred is cow shit, like <laughs> Right. I mean, the whole premise of the show is that people are talking about how there's nothing is happening. <laughs> Literally. Like that that's is like part of the drama of the show. Like, hey, no, it's just, I just feel like nothing's happening. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm frustrated also. I will say I laughed out loud a few times during this episode. And then I had to turn and explain it to Phil. And like, as I was saying it, I was like, this, the bar is in hell. <laughs> like, the, the things I'm looking for to laugh at because it, it's just so earnest and if you and i think that there is definitely like there are definitely people that this show is for mm -hmm. um i have learned from podcasting um the last three episodes that there are a lot of people that know a lot about farming um they, they've been in my dms they've been reaching out and letting me know and they've been comment commenting on the podcast so there are definitely a lot of people that are like interested because it's like it's their world. Yeah. Um, and then there are also the people that just are good hearted people that want to see people fall in love on, on TV. But my goodness, the fact that we're getting excited about like the most mundane pecks on the lips. Oh my God. Oh they my kiss. God. I was like, oh that's the kiss God. you like, yeah. like you do if you Look, don't even want to kiss. Someone. And there was some good here. Uh, but most of it, this is very boring. There's there's not a lot going on here. Uh, let, well, let's talk through what's happening okay. let's, with, yeah. with let's the farmers. If, let's see if, like, talking through it, Rob, yeah. that you okay. feel differently. Jenny, and if we, not, it'll still be cathartic. All right. You, should, so. we like, should we make the case? Like, Maybe let's save the best for the last because people are like, uh, our case, my case is that I think we should quit. And okay. we will tell you how the audience voted later on in the podcast. Okay. But let, let me make the case why we should quit. Because I'm not going to open with that the castration of, the, of that. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is a sad state of affairs when the high point of this show is, is the castrating of calves. calves. <laughs> That is That's the high the point of the show. That is the the best part of the show that I'm excited to talk about. We're okay? excited to talk about bull testicles. The and bar we have to is save in it hell. Last. We're, that's what we're excited about. <laughs> so we'll leave that. Okay. In the meantime. In the meantime. That's at uh, Farmer Hunter's house. I will say there's one like, so I, I am really paying attention to like little cheesy things that just like tickle me. Um, and like, just because sometimes when things take themselves so seriously, like I, I find humor in that. So that's kind of like where I'm starting to go with this show where I'm like, oh, like it's taking itself really seriously. And this is cute. Um, so we have like Jennifer Nettles walking through a field like with like a drone shot and she's like walking through the field talking about like what's happening next mm -hmm. and then like you also get these like like montages like slow motion montage of like the the farmers doing farm work while like higher love is playing over it it's like bring me a higher love and then it's like like you know hunter is like caressing a horse or something <laughs> like it's so absurd it's but it's earnest like they really feel like this is this is grabbing at someone's heartstrings and i believe it is but i can't help but laugh at it it's so funny to me <laughs> they're, they're just guys they're just guys <laughs> they're just normal people and that's okay 
but that doesn't mean that they should be on reality TV. Yeah, like I mean, there's really like no. With all due respect, they all seem nice, but like I mean, they're just like literally like just like regular guys. I mean, they do seem to own a farm. I mean, that's the <laughs> one. I think that they're at least not bamboozling these women. Um, so you know, it, this mm-hmm. is at least a show that does not lie to women, unlike Show Millionaire. Mm-hmm. So uh, it yeah. seems to be that they're upfront. They they all do own these farms. You can mm-hmm. see their property. You are literally staying at it. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I think we started at Landon's farm. Did you notice that he gets out of an RV? I did not. I don't think that. And then I think I noticed this later in the episode with one of the other farmers. I think maybe Hunter. I think that at least a couple of them are not living in the house. And they are staying in an RV parked on the land. Interesting. Which. The women are taking out of the house. I guess so. I They're mean, getting free reign of the house, and then he's get, sleeping in the RV. I don't know if it's a respect thing or if it's hmm. truly that they don't have enough beds. I mean, we did see multiple bunk beds. Yeah. Um. Although I did hear that. Um. Again, from our friend Kelly McBean, that the the bunk beds in like farmhouses Not is uncommon. a thing at least in Western Canada because of like the farm help. Yeah. So okay. I don't know, but. I noticed at least two of them getting out of RVs on their own property in the morning. Well, let me just say once again, it's a show without like a a solid format. All of the farmers had the opportunity to have someone leave. (laughs) And three out of four of the farmers said, "Eh, I'm fine. (laughs) Never. No, nobody has to leave. There's no stakes here. There's like, no stakes. Even the only the closest we get to stakes are the bull testicles. <laughs> yes, that's is the cow. Cat that fries. Are, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Crumbs. So really, it's more getting. stakes than anything. Really, mm-hmm. I'm learning mm-hmm. more about cows than yeah. Really only one much person else. got asked to leave, and I think she was about to leave anyway. I think I almost feel like that was let's let's give Portia. Like you can't quit. You're fired. No, uh, let us give Portia the respect that she deserves. I really think that this was her leaving Mm -hmm. and him basically trying to position it as like, maybe you should leave. Uh, I I don't know what he doesn't see in Portia. What's wrong with Portia? I don't know either, Rob. Portia was great. And I think she was completely justified in everything she said. And she got mm-hmm. she got her ass out of there. She yeah. did the right thing. Well, I misspoke. Like, There's two two women uh, are also. And then also Nicole oh, is leaving. Nicole. Yes. yes. How could we forget? Yes. I mean, Landon did forget about her a lot. So mm-hmm. I don't know. So, maybe. But yeah, maybe. I, I don't think that, that um, farmer Ryan was going to ask Portia to leave. No. And I almost, I almost wonder, do we... Oh yeah, no, we we do know it, that Landon was going to ask Nicole no matter what, um, because he he pulled her in to get a bottle of wine. Yeah, at least he didn't do it in front of like the group. Mm-hmm. But it's just like it doesn't seem like there are rules here, um, which fine. But at certain yeah, points, but... are you going to make them get rid of someone because I don't know. we're just going to turn into like? sister wives here <laughs> yeah that's what it feels like jenny and you know where the, in the bachelor every episode is going to have a rose ceremony usually yeah. on survivor every episode has a tribal council um but <laughs> it's like oh Fucking well man. we don't have to ask anybody to leave it's like nobody is like uh the guys are taking it slow the women are moving like oh are they gonna talk to me or what like nobody is it's like molasses. trying to force yeah. the issue here and it's yeah. going very slow yeah, it's a show about nothing. Um, <laughs> not in a good way. Not, yeah, not in the way that you you might be used to. Um, yeah, I I don't know if if any of our beloved listeners have followed the um, the international versions. Um, I know the Australian version is a big hit. Is this something that happens on those versions, or is this because it's new? Um, they're just kind of winging it as they go, and they're like. Uh, yeah, I guess you don't have to send anyone anyone home because I almost felt like after that first round, 
when Alan was the only one who sent people home. And then they had their little get together where they shared stories. And he's like, wait, no, none of you, none of you sent people home. And then Alan is like, well, I'm not sending people home then. And so then mm-hmm. this week he doesn't send anyone home. It's like, do they even, I don't know if any of these people know the rules. Nobody knows the rules. No one, and- even production, I think. <laughs> Even production. And so unfortunately, like it's just moving very, very, very slow. We saw things like people going fishing, fixing fences. Yeah. Like the big, uh, so you get like your, like tonight, uh, like preview montage at the beginning um, or like the coming up before commercials. And like one of the big dramas of the evening was there was a snake. (laughs) There was a snake at one point. Yeah. That was it. We, the snake yeah. did nothing. It just, there was a snake. It jumped out. They said, holy fudge. And there was a snake. And that was it. And then, and then Alan said, uh, yeah, I need you to protect me or whatever. And like mm-hmm. that, that was the extent of the snake, uh, encounter. It, it wasn't even a big snake. It looked, you know, like a garter snake or something. It was not big. It just Mm -hmm. slithered into the bush and then that was the end of it. But this was one of the big, like, dramatic moments of the episode, according Mm -hmm. to the editing. Yes. Okay. So (laughs) Alan did go on a date with Kelsey, Kelsey. who seems very nice. And um, much like on Survivor this week, uh, we heard the producer uh, give their voice to the... We saw that he heard the producers questioning. I I always enjoy that. The show. Yes. And in a similar vein of like on Survivor, not so much of a spoiler, but Franny got asked like, are you blushing? Uh, and the, the producer asked, are you hoping he kisses you? Yeah. And she's like, oh, maybe. Uh. I would be into that, I think. And then the we get the producer also asking Alan, like, are like, mm-hmm. how, do you feel like you would like to kiss her? It's like, yes. these producers are really trying. Wait, yeah, Jenny, it sounds like I mean, it's me and you are having the same conversations that the producers are having. Like, nothing's happening. Let's, yeah. you wanna let's maybe... press the issue a little bit here. Come on. I'm like, hey, Alan, pooper, get off the pot here. <laughs> What no, it's doing? so true. And I think that this is a byproduct of the type of show this is because it's like the whole point is like you've got these good country gentlemen that are like good men, good hardworking men that res- that are they're just looking for someone to spend their life with and they're going to respect you and like they they were raised well and like all of those like things that were told about this type of person and this type of life- lifestyle. So like None of them want to disrupt the apple cart, you know? They're all trying to be so respectful of these women. And I can't believe me as a woman, I am sitting here being like, be more disrespectful of these women. But like at the same time, we are on a show where everyone here understood the premise. You signed up to be one of multiple people vying for attention of a single farmer and you need to expect that it's going to be difficult and you might get upset when they, you find out they've been kissing, you know, other people. It's like, come on. But is it disrespectful? I mean, everybody has consented to exactly what is happening on this show. It's like, okay, he likes her. She likes him. Let's let nature do as mother nature intended. (laughs) Which you think they would all be in favor for. (laughs) Let Yeah. Let's go. (laughs) <laughs> let's let let's major. go why are you driving around with this uh pickup truck with a flatbed on the back yeah and you know just sitting there mm-hmm. like there was like you know the the holy spirit had plenty of room between the two of them mm-hmm. you know like yeah it was it was like a like a middle school dance like the, no one was getting close there was not right. even a question whether they would kiss no Not even happening. Uh, Meanwhile, Ryan, he took Lily on a date. Lily is a horse lady. She loves horses. She's, yes. And, like, his strategy was, um, this is something that she's comfortable doing. So, like, let's take her where, like, she's comfortable so she'll maybe open up more. Hmm. But it's, like, I just... And I realized that afterwards they had, like, their little, uh, like, picnic with, like, champagne, I think, which... That's fun. I think that's the better okay. part of the day, obviously. But it's like the drinking. How much, 
how much well it's just like conversation and all also drinking and it's like listen this is an awkward situation let's maybe have a little social lubricant here but like how much connection are you going to make while you are two separate people riding different horses that are like not next yeah, to each other? Yeah, you're connecting with the horse, you're saying. You're connecting with yeah. the horse, which mm -hmm. like, I think that in a lot of cases, that's what people want. <laughs> but I just don't know if that's what I personally no, want. No, it's not what I want, for sure. <laughs> I just like feel like, I don't know. The, the point of these dates is like to get to know each other and like, um have conversation is what i would think that's what i that's why i never i'm like when people are like oh let's go to a movie for like a first date it's like okay then i will learn nothing about you i might as well just go by myself like who why are you going to a movie as a first date that's absurd to me yeah. what do you learn about someone but while sitting next to them quietly while you watch a movie that's just like I, wasted time to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I understand if it's like dinner and a movie. Jenny, that like, would be an improvement on a lot of these dates. <laughs> well, dinner and a movie is a long sort of night, action. Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> so the, you want the show to be like us watching a movie that other people are watching. <laughs> <laughs> like make it a good like action-packed movie so that Rob has something to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put a good movie on. I would <laughs> she like put that. put a movie on for me, Ryan. <laughs> I'm bored. That, look, that that would be an improvement uh, for sure. <laughs> what did you think about? Okay, I will say. So I'm like, I'm talking shit about these dates um, because, yeah, the fishing date. I mean, I guess they're at least close enough that they can have conversation. But again, Alan says about 10 words an episode. Um, so we weren't getting a ton there. Um, and then obviously the, the horse back riding, like there's only so much that you can connect on while you're on separate horses. I will say Landon and Hunter's dates a little bit more my speed. Um, cause there's an activity that mm -hmm. like they, so Landon and Kylie went ax throwing. How did you feel about that? It was fine. I mean, it was I will still, say, yeah, Kylie, Kylie is trying to, you know, you know what it is. I don't. <laughs> she was. I'm. I'm just telling you. Like I can just tell when yeah. I look at someone and the way they flirt. Like she, she wanted it. You know. The H word. She was H. <laughs> she might have been a little H word. She. She was like. She was giving the sexual attention. Like she okay. was creating it. Cause she like. And Landon, I think, is still just trying to be a gentleman. But, like, look at this woman's eyes when she looks at, like, everything. I got to go back and was... watch her. Maybe you're making no. a case to go those back and were, look at those. Those were F me eyes if I've ever seen them in my okay. life. Okay. All right. And those I, eyes. listen, I've, I, I know, I know that look. I've probably given it before. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> she was, wow. there's something about the, <laughs> I mean, I think she really likes him or she's just really good at making people think that she likes them. But, uh, okay. at least that's something. I don't know. Something about ax throwing that's Kylie. got her in the mood. Yes, yeah. Kylie. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to, I, you know, Nicole has said she wants to go ax throwing. I've never done it either. I, I like activity no dates. I have no interest in axe throwing, but for whatever reason, I think my wife wants to throw murder weapons. So yeah. Um, is there something about the axe throwing? <laughs> it's like ooh, like uh, you know, like uh, this is like somebody could suffer a mortal wound. This is exciting. Yeah. Do you think that that like it amplifies the excitement? It's danger. It's, it's like, like I'm riding yeah. a motorcycle. Yeah. It's like controlled danger, where it's like. Let's not play darts. That's a little too basic. Let's throw an axe at like a man-made dartboard. I guess mm -hmm. the dartboard is also man-made, but like, yes. you know, Nature's just like yeah. a really like, you know, low, low budget uh, type of dartboard-esque thing. I'm going to look into it. Um, I would do it. We actually have like an, um, an axe throwing place nearby and we always pass oh, it. And I've so just never. Patron just meetup. Never yeah. Toronto. So, yeah. We. I mean. It Everybody behave like though. People enjoy yeah. it. I just, I know I would be terrible at it. Um, and it was kind of funny because I guess Kylie had done it before and Landon hadn't. And then Kylie just immediately sucked. And then Landon just 
was like really good. So like they had their like competitive flirting, mm-hmm. talking smack. Do you like do you like that kind of flirting, Rob? Like the uh, ribbing each other? Um, I think that it used to go well. I feel like um <laughs> I feel like it's sort of like you know you can I'm, receive but not yeah, give maybe yeah, yeah, well no <laughs> yes yes the giving I find to be I remember like in the very early days of like uh dating Nicole and it has been uh some time that we were playing like a board game and it was the board game of the California Raisins the board game are you familiar with the California yes. Raisins Jenny? they have a board game they had a board game and it was like the dumbest like luck based thing oh it's so like the and worst kind of board game. yeah the worst kind of board game and so it was california raisins and i was just like destroying nicole and i remember and she's this vividly really competitive, right? i remember this like, vividly i was like oh yeah. oh my god you suck at this game you're, just, you're terrible like oh, i can't Which believe you're you so horrible funny because, <laughs> because there's no there's skill, no skill involved. involved you yes. couldn't be good at this game if you tried it is yes. like it's like oh you're good at rolling dice you know yeah. it's like that and she got so mad <laughs> she's like you're such an a-hole like i uh, like uh she's like she had no sense of humor about it whatsoever yeah and here's the thing it's like your mileage uh, may vary some yeah and some people are 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 sensitive or they're very competitive so like they even though like the game is doesn't matter it's not like you know there's luck it's just luck there's no skill it's like they're programmed to be upset at themselves for not Mm -hmm. doing better when it's like completely outside of their control Mm -hmm. so it like that's that's not on you but it it is kind of dangerous did you ever play a board game again (laughs) No, I think that was it. The <laughs> that was the game. only time. California the last, 2003. I think that's the last oh board God. game. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this is an actual game. <laughs> Jenny, let's talk about then. Okay. But let's to get we talked about the bad. Let's talk about the good, the best okay. here, the highlights. Yeah. Okay. So farmer hunter mm-hmm. very cryptically tells the women. Today is the day they're going to do some accounting. Yes. But they're not going to do his taxes. He says no. that we're going to be uh, me going out to see these bulls and accounting for the two things that make them steers. Yes. He says we're tagging and counting. You got to account for two things on a bull. And we had the nice long uh, gap of, of them trying to realize what that meant. Yes. Uh and he he also said that this was about uh, you know checking out the the bulls that weren't gonna cut it, mm-hmm. but they were gonna cut it. They, they were, were gonna, gonna be cut cutting. It. <laughs> yeah, they were gonna. <laughs> yeah, and so what's gonna happen, folks, is that Farmer Hunter is going to tackle some of these young calves, and then uh, he has his like a uh, little like gardening shears. Yeah, what and the then, hell? Yeah. And then that, with his gardening like shears, pictures. yeah, he's going to then uh, clip the testicles off of some bulls. And and he recruited the help of these women to tackle these young uh, male cows to castrate them. I I I will say, I. F- I freaking hated this, Rob. Because, okay. And I know that I've said that this is like the best part of the episode, but we're maybe more so leading up to the part yeah. where like it, it, I can at least stomach it. Some of our viewers said that this is the, the best part. They, they want uh, more, more testicles cut off on television prime time. Uh, I, I, it made me uncomfortable because I was like, um, even though I know that it's humane and this is like something that you have to do, um, I, I, there was a a disconnect for me and I felt very uncomfortable watching them do this to the cows. I did not like it. Um, but also it was like, they would just snip and then like hold them and then, and then the cow would just go running off and I'm like, doesn't it bleed? Like, does it need a bandaid? Do we need to get a cone? I gotta be honest. I thought (laughs) that... Kev, the steers all like uh took it like a bull. Uh, they were they, fine. They, yeah, they they snip snip and they were like, uh, off you go. On their way, they're like, okay, 
You won't I think be if you pop this. the pimple on me, I think I would be like, well, 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 what's that for? Yeah, I would probably, you know, cry about it for a little bit. I'd be like, can you at least give me like a Spider-Man like Band-Aid or something? Come on. Like, what is going on? These cows, these cows are just like, OK, <laughs> I guess yeah. I don't have balls anymore. <laughs> just like go on their merry way. Do, it was do, do. so weird. I thought that it would have been a lot more um, of a process, but they were just like snip and go snip yeah. and go it was like a whole and like farmer hunter assembly line says all right just go and you know grab them and throw them in the black bucket <laughs> yeah so then he has these that's women a big testicle handling with their bare hands just like st stringy was this a test organs. from farmer hunter I, I have to believe it was. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure production loved that this could be a thing. They were like, oh, my God. Okay, no one's kissing. No mm -hmm. one cares about anything. But at least we are getting the testes. Like, thank God mm -hmm. Hunter wants these women to experience this thing that they do on the farm. Because, like, how many times can you shovel poopy hay and, and have it be like, oh, my God, like, I don't know if I can mm -hmm. handle life on the farm. It's like, we really need to up the ante. We're, do, we're doing testes on episode four. What else do we have? What else do we have? And it, was, it wasn't just help snip and grab <laughs> and put in the bucket. Farmer Hunter is like, all right. Now we get to taste the spoils. Yeah. So time they did this to, during... time to eat the testicles, ladies. Yeah, I was not I I, I was not prepared for for what was to come. And this is the part that I could at least stomach, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Not saying I could stomach the testicles myself, but um, so they did like the actual tagging and counting and castration part in the daytime, and it looked like in the evening when they have their little bonfire. Uh, Hunter Hunter cooked up a little snack for everyone, and it was just fried bull testicles. Yep. I guess um, they call them. Don't know how they were fried. Fries. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't know fried. necessarily why. Like, I can understand. Okay, hey, look, this is a part of the job. That this is important. I know this uh, might seem inhumane, but ultimately, we need to do this. This is for the better. Uh, but what I don't get is like, and now we have to eat them. Is it like nothing wasted here on the farm? Yeah, it's like it's you know that's that's perfectly good meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't don't get rid of it. Now, um, but Jenny, that being said, uh, this was kind of a big hit. <laughs> they loved it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I thought that we were. I thought we were going to get at least one confessional. From someone gagging. Yeah. This was not like a fear like, factor situation. This was no. like, hey, we we need some more testicles. I have for those that did not watch this episode. Um, congratulations. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but I will share with you the one the one part of this episode that did make me laugh out loud was when. Our friend Sydney, the the first woman that Hunter took on a, on a one on one date at the farm, said, uh, "And I quote, I really loved the nuts. Mm -hmm. I think they need some sweet chili sauce or something, oh, but okay. those are tasty." <laughs> she loved the nuts. <laughs> like at least somebody's getting nuts on this show. <laughs> Jenny, that's that's it. This is the last straw on Farmer Wants a Wife. I'm done. I'm We're done. 30 minutes into this podcast. I'm and done. done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm packing my bags. I'm leaving these farmers. But what if next week Hunter brings What are the they gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Rob. I it's it makes me sad because I think that there is opportunity to make a show like this a little yeah. kookier, a little yeah. bit more spicy, a little bit more spicy. Put some of that spicy chili. The sweet chili heat on those, yeah. Yeah. those nuts. But I just 
uh, I think that there will be people on the show that are happily ever after, you know, like that's mm. great. But like, can I get some fireworks? And I don't mean romantic fireworks on the farm as part of a date in the back of a pickup truck. Yeah. I know that's coming at some point and they're lighting them themselves. <laughs> I mean, I just want something. Give me something. 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 Give us something. I, you, yeah, I, I, I hear you. Um, this is like trying to make a meal out of something that, in a different way, <laughs> like the, yeah, the, <laughs> that is not supposed to be be a meal. Yeah, like like these uh, <laughs> fried calf fries is what they call them. Um, I think that I am partially traumatized by special forces uh, because you know. There was a lot there that we had to kind of make something out of. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say, like, at least you had, like, Billy Billingham, like, shouting at people. Like, at least you had, you know, uh, Rebby asking you to pay the man. I just feel like this show is lacking, like, one go-to character that is like mm -hmm. always delivered. Okay. Well, the one thing closest thing that we have is Cassidy Joe. Okay. Yes. Cassidy and I Joe, will say she far and far and wide is like she, the most entertaining. Right. Is very much needing affection from Farmer Allen. Okay. And um the, she has a confrontation with Farmer Allen and she pulls him aside and it's like, hey, what's going on here? Are you ready to have a wife again? Is that is that what's going on? Uh and ultimately we see that you know farmer Allen's like oh no no uh, it's not that um and like i'm sorry i'm taking things slow and I, I felt like that he just gave her a kiss just to you know get her to stop talking about this yes so like he has this little talk with them at the like the table and alan says he'd like everyone to stay for another week and kelsey who he had just gone on a date with was like okay well eventually you're gonna have to like make some decisions like you know you might need to, you know, we're women. We want affection so that we have an idea of like where you're starting to to go. And he admits he's like, it's hard because I'm 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 afraid of upsetting another one of you. And then like everyone's like everyone's just silent. He's like, well, I guess that settles that. We'll all stay. Like you can just tell he was just like, let's wrap this up in a nice neat bow. I don't want to deal with this. And that was when Cassidy Queen is just like, we're gonna go talk. And she takes him outside and she's just like, she's just going in on him being like, you, are you over your wife? Are you ready for another wife? Da, da, da. And then he is like slightly gaslighting. If I, I Oh, I just feel like she wasn't, she was not being attacking. She was mm -hmm. just kind of like hitting him with the hard questions and like kind of, you know, pressing him because a lot of these people, like, they don't want to overstep because they're just like, oh, if I say the wrong thing, like, I'm going to get eliminated. Well, no, not on this show. Um, no one gets eliminated, apparently. But, no. Uh, Cassie was just kind of, like, pressing him with, like, hard questions and being like, are you, like, are you ready? Like, are you actually ready for this? And he's like, yes, yes. And then I think that he kind of likes it uh, when... I think because we get a lot of indications of this throughout the episode. Um, they were like in the tractor at one point and Cassidy was like, this will be the one and only time you're in control or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like Cassidy has uh, alpha vibes and I think that Alan likes it a little bit. But he, like, gives her a kiss. And by kiss, I mean the most, like, platonic peck on yeah, the lips. It's not um, Like, the, the smallest of crumbs. But Cassie and, just, ooh. And, she, and that's the sad part was she was excited. Um, and he's like, don't attack me like that. Just relax. And he gives her the kiss and he says, now will you relax? Like... <laughs> So there, there is no like need for interpretation yeah. here. He was doing this to <laughs> shut her up. <laughs> yeah. Look, I agree with Cassidy Joe. Things are moving too slow. Yeah. Jenny, will you join me in saying that we should, I don't know what comes next. I okay. don't know where we go. Okay. Let me tell you, let me give you some information from our audience. Please. Okay. G bring bring me the info all right so every week rob's website.com slash hit or quit okay 
Let me tell you what's happening. All right. I can tell you what some people said in our audience. Okay. Okay. All right. Hit me with it. We we had one of our listeners said it's a it's voted it's a hit. Who cares about the show being a hit? Rob and Jenny slap always. All right. Okay. I mean, I appreciate I, that. Another listener says. We're two episodes behind, but you all are killing it. I give it five out of five hay bales. Oh, are okay. those poopy hay bales or just like straight clean? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> untarnished uh, hay bales. Another listener says, you guys are doing more than fine, but it sounds like it sucks and it's <laughs> traveling at a negative pace. It's little to no meat on this bone. Yeah. And I mean, also no bone. Just, mm -hmm. just testicle meat <laughs> yes <laughs> that's all we have to feast on here not even well, bone <laughs> so i can tell you that our <laughs> our uh listeners have voted and 79.5 percent of our listeners say that the show is still a hit okay now, but like that that is a commanding number yeah. I, 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 I can completely recognize that. Do you think though, Rob, that this is out of lack of other options to give us? Um, or mm -hmm. do you think that there are people now that are invested in at least some of this storyline that we have started talking about and, um, they, I don't know, there's completionists, Listen, right? Like there's nothing here. There's nothing here. <laughs> We're looking for the meat on the bone. We need some it's sweet a chili sauce. Skeleton. <laughs> Jenny, yeah. I say we I say we quit. The listeners say we stay. It's a it's okay. a hit. It's up to you. Do now, did did any of our fine listeners have any suggestions? Okay. So, uh we do not have a ton of suggestions there are not a ton of reality tv premieres at this moment however last week we did have some people some folks say that we should look at seeking brother husband oh, people felt right. like that, that would be a good show yeah for, i'm into that i think actually. for us to potentially look at uh that is that is two weeks in on seeking brother husband i don't know okay, whether so we, we could would, like we would do catch a up binge or yeah catch up with two weeks uh i do wonder how uh how long those episodes uh we can look be, into seeking that brother husband okay all right uh then we also uh got another suggestion uh from one of our listeners uh who suggested that we check out a, a brand new show that is coming to believe uh the usa network slash peacock uh, -oh. uh okay. okay now jenny this is a little bit of uh you know similar to what i just talked about with the outlast there's a new show called uh race to survive alaska okay it's an amazing race uh like show people in alaska sure I mean, I'd do that for a dollar. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm open-minded, Rob. Like, here's the thing. I I know that I will have a good time with you no matter what. Sure. And I ultimately, I want you to be happy. Um, mm -hmm. Because when you're excited, I'm, I'm excited. When you're happy, I'm happy. And you're beautiful. To, to come in here today after you were feeling so high last week, Rob, to see how defeated you were. We just went backwards, backsliding. Just, I feel like this is, we're in a toxic relationship with Farmer Wants a Wife. We're yeah, we're in a more toxic relationship never, with Fox, it's, honestly. It, it's never going to be more. <laughs> it's never going to be more than this. No, we're just going to get more schmoopy, like, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, But like. Like P, like the most PG version of Schmoopy. Um, the worst, the worst. Molasses okay. slow. So Schmoopy. Andy Denhart over on Reality Blurred does a list of. Uh, okay, here's more interesting one. Okay, okay. Uh, the CW uh, is oh, premiering <laughs> the Great American Joke Off. 
Uh, the show features several riotous rounds in each episode that uh, involve telling as many quick gags as possible and giving categories. Uh, that's are another... these like actual comedians like that? Um, Might be more of a game show. You show? last comic okay. standing. Yeah. No, there's this. There was like I don't know if it was Canadian, but there was like a um, Tom Green was on it. Colin Mockery was on it. It was like I think it was called Last mm -hmm. One Laughing. Um, and it was a bunch of comedians that try to make each other laugh, and that, mm -hmm. that I don't know. That sound, right. It sounds similar to that, but are Jenny, these regular also, people? Or, um, I don't know. Well, also next week on the E! Network, uh, there's going to be a new uh, season uh, or maybe for the first time, Celebrity Game Face and Celebrity Prank Wars. Celebrity Prank Wars? Mm -hmm. So like just people like punking? Yes. <laughs> like, we're yes. Bring Here's the thing, Rob, is everything Y2K is coming back. Like the clothes that I wore in high school are cool again. It is depressing. Yes. Kevin Hart that is would... back for a brand new season of Celebrity Game Face. So we're bringing punked back. That is it, yes, it, yes, completely in line with everything else that's happening in culture right now. So mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's back. Uh, okay, and, well, I think this yeah. is good that we're like listing some of these things because, you know, we, while we did already put the form out and the people have said it's a hit, I think that it's important for people to maybe chime in if they think any of these yeah. above options sound good. Jenny, I this is my thing that I'm saying. I say that we uh, we quit okay. on Farmer Wants a Wife. OK, and we look at the race to survive Alaska uh, that is uh, premiering, I believe, uh, this weekend. OK, OK, I figure out how uh, I'm watch this. OK, right. we'll figure we, it out. We, we, we could we could figure this Let's out. See. OK, uh, and on. let me let me get an official word on this. Uh, race to survive Alaska premieres, uh, I believe, Monday night. OK. Okay. Sure. And then, um, if we don't like it, we can quit it. Yeah. Hit or quit. Honestly, Races around Alaska. Maybe if, it's a new if, show. Maybe it's a new hit. <laughs> okay. So here's here's a question I have, and this is not something that we've we've discussed previously, but what happens when you quit? Is it never to be returned to? What happens if people are saying farmer wants a wife has gotten good i need i need you guys to we'll come chime back in on we can, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll come back and check out what's going on just like milf manor that's what i'm saying like yeah. that's what i was wondering if if there were rules about like it's a it's a final well, quit and this might be a controversial opinion the audience may not like this mm -hmm. i well, mean this is our this is why we created yeah. this function and this um you know like we've we've branded the podcast mm -hmm. what's the point of it if we're just going to torture ourselves and continue yeah. to hit then we're just gonna call the show the podcast hit hit yeah. or hit okay Hit or All hit right. yourself in the face because you're and bored. You hit yourself in the face. <laughs> um, you can leave us feedback on our Apple podcast page or Spotify. Go to Rob's website.com slash hit or quit feed and uh, let us know what you think. But Jenny, uh, first off, I love a Monday night show. Uh, yeah, get us out of good. the uh, survivor vortex mm -hmm. as yeah. well. Yeah. So. No, I'm I'm all for that. Let's do it. I am. Let's 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 test the waters. OK. Yeah. Let's just see what else is out there. And, you know, we'll find out if if it was the right decision. This or not. ain't it. Also, if we were wrong, we could easily slam through two episodes of Farmer Wants a Wife and probably still <laughs> wrap up real quick. Yeah. The, at least based on the, the, the pace that it has been going. For so sure. I don't I'm not that concerned. I listen, you know what you're doing. I trust you, and I yeah. saw the pain in your eyes. Just there's nothing, and I don't here. want you to there's feel a, that look, way. There's nothing. There's nothing to talk about. A far more yeah. life. We, we, Enough. We got excited Enough. about castration, guys. Okay, That's, right. It's That's a low where bar. we're at. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Jenny. Anything else about Farmer Wants a Wife? Uh, the series. Um. um I I I care enough to find out how it ends at some point. Um. 
It's 2023. I, I, you gotta, you, you have a reality show. You have a dating show. You gotta have something happening. Yeah. Like, once again, I just binged Milf Manor in 24 hours. That last show week. had things happening. Things were happening and and like, you know, it wasn't 20, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a constant stream of entertainment. Um, it had its schmoopy moments, but even the schmoopy moments were like kind of absurd, uh, mm -hmm. just, just by virtue of the, the, the premise of the show. Mm -hmm. So just step it up, step, step it, up it up a little bit. All right. Mm -hmm. We're hungry. Yeah. Okay. Not for calf fries. Not, okay? not for that. Okay. No. Enough. Not Enough. even with the sweet chili sauce. Okay. Uh, now, while a new Survivor episode did air on Wednesday night, on Monday, I got the chance to talk Survivor with uh, Jenny Autumn, and we had a wonderful time doing that. I got some nice feedback about uh, that feedback show this week, Jenny. Oh, I had so, yeah, it's, it's nice when you and I get to talk about Survivor, just because it's like, I mean, that's like, that's your thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I... I don't usually get to to chat about it. And we had such a good episode to talk about. Um, and I had, yeah, I'm always happy to talk to you. And so check, I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't check it out. Yeah. If you're catching I mean, up on Survivor, sure. It's not Why too not? late. For all the Jenny yeah. Autumn stands out there. I yeah. was uh here in Raleigh for our live show and I talked to a few different people. That's I love Jenny Autumn. I listen oh to anything with Jenny Autumn. <laughs> That I I I need to just take a moment to say how appreciative I am because it it is actually wild to me that people um like listening to to this stuff like obviously everything that you touch turns to gold Rob so but, <laughs> it looks like it's too carried away yeah no really we're talking about you we're talking about you Jenny I'm just saying like it isn't it is really really um great to get to do this every week even when the shows are bad and I really appreciate any anyone that whether you listen to or whether you watch the shows that we're talking about or not if you just appreciate me and Rob and I and ha have said anything nice or left a nice review. Like I seriously see it all and I really, really appreciate it. And I am so humbled. <laughs> um, and I am very privileged to be able to be in a situation where I get to choose whether I want to continue talking about Isn't it this nice? show with you because <laughs> it is really fun. So yes. um, yeah, no okay. matter what. So thank Where you everyone. Big love. We're on the hunt for trash that we can turn into treasure. And yes. so we will uh, be go up, go up north to Alaska for the race to what is it called? Race to survive we Alaska. The north. <laughs> we the north. Race. Yeah. Race to survive Alaska. Okay. The rules are simple. Survival isn't. Okay. We'll see. Look, at last was uh, was hot. So maybe and it was very cold. Uh, maybe <laughs> there'll be some uh, of a halo factor there and people maybe. will uh, be interested in hearing us uh, check that out. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's going to do it for us here on Hit or Quit. We love to get your feedback. I'm at Rob Sestrino. Rob Jenny is at Jenny Autumn. Jenny, anything else? That is it. Just looking forward to seeing what, what we have around the corner. Um, and yeah, that, that's all for me. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.